In the final days of August 2023, an extreme weather phenomena shook Mecca, the holiest city in the heart of Islam. A fierce hailstorm accompanied by heavy rain and strong winds transformed this city, uh, usually experiencing harsh sunlight and drought, into an area devastated by floods. This event was not only a shock in terms of weather, but also a significant challenge for infrastructure, crisis management and the community's faith. Mecca, situated in the arid lands of the Arabian Peninsula, rarely faces the risk of flooding. At the sacred shrine, where the mysterious black cube is located, heavy rain and strong winds affected 70,000 people praying there. The large hailstones that fell added to the worries of the pilgrims praying at this holy site. While Muslims were praying under the huge black cube, a bolt of lightning suddenly struck the iconic Royal Tower Hotel. The lightning lit up the sky that night, creating a truly magnificent sight. The unexpected combination of heavy rain and hail overwhelmed the city's drainage system. The streets quickly turned into rivers, buildings were damaged and many daily activities were disrupted. For the local residents and thousands of pilgrims in Mecca, this was a heartbreaking and surprising experience. The sight of large hailstones falling next to the Kaaba, uh, the holiest center of Islam, became a symbol of the instability brought on by natural disasters. Although Saudi Arabia has plans and measures for disaster prevention, the extent and speed of the hail and flooding surpassed all predictions. This indicates the need for further investment and improvement in early warning systems, drainage infrastructure and evacuation plans. On the road leading into the city, despite the harsh weather, a man happily played in the rain. Confronting this force of nature is very dangerous. We should not follow suit. It's important to seek safe shelter before a natural disaster strikes. The flooding of streets led to chaos in Jeddah City. Police and civil defense forces were deployed for rescuing drivers and evacuating vehicles stuck in the flood. Flights at the International Airport were postponed and several nearby areas faced power outages. Authorities shut down schools and universities in the area affected by the flooding. The government of Mecca province urged citizens to stay indoors amid the emergency situation. Ya satir, ya satir. Ya Allah, The 
The total rainfall exceeded the record levels seen in 2009 when over 120 people died in a flash flood in Jeddah. According to the Saudi Arabian National Meteorological Center, about 90 millimeters of rain poured down in just four hours, twice the average annual rainfall for the region. This heavy rain caused widespread flooding, disrupting transportation, with many roads looking like rivers. The Saudi Arabian Ministry of Defense reported that rescue teams saved five people after a car was swept away by floodwaters in the Medina area. In a market area, a strong current swept away cars passing through, but fortunately, the drivers were timely rescued by locals before being swept away by the water. <laughs> Driving through the fast-moving water is extremely dangerous. We should patiently wait for the water to recede or seek help from rescue teams to safely cross the water. It is truly touching to witness the fearless spirit of these men in the face of the fierce water current. <laughs> they disregarded the strong flow to save the lives of others. Such an act is truly commendable. The unusual rainfall coincided with the time when pilgrims were flocking to the holy site of Mecca Approximately 1.6 million Muslims worldwide were en route to the sacred site in Saudi Arabia. A government official of the country reported that two bridges on the main road leading to the holy site of Mecca had collapsed. All routes to the holy site were flooded, preventing many devotees from making their pilgrimage this year. More than 2,500 emergency rescue workers were deployed to the city of Jeddah after the storm to address the aftermath of the flood and facilitate the restoration of traffic. The city of Jeddah, located on the Red Sea coast with a population of about 4 million, is often referred to as the gateway to Mecca, the holiest city in Islam. The heavy rains and flooding caused traffic disruptions on the road between Mecca and Jeddah for several hours. In the city's small, sloping streets, the sight of floodwaters sweeping away people's belongings is horrifying. Is this nature's retribution for human actions that harm the environment? It is crucial to realize that our actions today have a direct impact on the environment and our future living conditions. It's important to act now to protect our planet for future generations.
Extreme weather has brought strong winds and heavy rain to the sacred site of Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Large storms with stormy winds and flash floods have relentlessly attacked Mecca, Saudi Arabia, intermittently from January 4th to the end of August 2023. This mighty Middle Eastern nation has had to endure brutal bouts of bad weather. Disrupted systems have resulted in large amounts of rainfall and accompanying strong wind gusts. According to local media, major cities such as Mecca and Jeddah have been hit by flash floods in recent days. The Road Safety Special Forces have issued an emergency warning for road users in the Al Mukarran area of Mecca. Extreme weather, the floodwaters submerged the city and swept away cars, causing them to pile up in one area, creating a junkyard of automobiles. People witnessed cars piling up on top of each other and a man was timely caught on camera saving a cat that was swept away by the floodwaters. The holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia, home to the most sacred sites of Islam, experienced storms and heavy rain affecting pilgrims, resulting in the closure of schools and creating chaotic scenes. Online videos from Tuesday show pilgrims performing tawaf, circumambulating the Kaaba, getting wet and slipping on the floor as the heavy rain carried away objects around them. As darkness enveloped, the storm intensified terrifyingly, prompting the Civil Defence Force to issue an urgent call requesting residents to leave their homes to ensure safety. Natural disasters are indeed terrifying. The storm brought not only heavy rain but also thunder, lightning and strong winds, posing danger to anyone daring to step outside. The video clip vividly depicted the majestic and fierce nature pouring rain interspersed with thunder and lightning. The giant billboards were uprooted by the storm winds falling onto the streets causing chaos and danger. The video clip depicted heavy rain and lightning. Saudi Arabia has experienced torrential rains in various regions including Naran, Jazan and Alabaha. While these rare scenes were unfolding at the giant black cube where all Muslims pray, another video showed a lightning bolt striking the iconic royal clock tower of the Fairmont Mecca, illuminating the night sky on Tuesday. 
According to local media, the storm brought wind gusts of up to 50 miles per hour. A neighborhood in Mecca recorded 1.8 inches of rainfall within 24 hours. Online videos also show mild flooding in some neighboring areas of Mecca, forcing residents to take shelter and halt car travel. The conditions seem to be similar to the storm of 2015 that caused a crane to collapse at the Grand Mosque or the mosques surrounding the Kaaba taking the lives of over a hundred people and injuring hundreds of others. The Saudi Arabian authorities reported no casualties or serious incidents resulting from the storm on Tuesday. According to locals, the flash floods had almost subsided by Wednesday morning, but the situation could still be risky. The Meteorological Center warns of subsequent storms on Wednesday, bringing rain, wind and thunder to the Mecca region and other areas of western Saudi Arabia. The official spokesperson of the National Meteorological Center stated winds blowing down towards the capital exceeded 80 kilometers an hour. And El Kakia recorded the highest rainfall at 45 millimeters, while the likelihood of rain remains generally moderate. Furthermore, the authorities in the Mecca region announced on Platform X that schools in the Mecca area would be closed on Wednesday, with classes to be held on the electronic learning platform for safety of everyone. A resident of Mecca who went out to purchase personal supplies responded to the press describing that everything turned dark before my eyes as the terrible storm approached. <laughs> Saudi Arabia has turned into a vast ocean, floods in Jeddah following prolonged heavy rain, flights at King Abdulaziz International Airport was delayed, schools were closed and roads to Mecca were blocked. Most residents were forced to stay indoors as they witnessed the rising water levels outside their homes, while the majority of streets remained flooded. Winter storms and floods occur almost annually in Jeddah, where residents have long criticized the poor infrastructure. In May, Mecca faced a particularly alarming situation. Locusts and cockroaches migrated in terrifying numbers to the holy city of Mecca. Both locals and tourists were disappointed and tried to find ways to cope with those uninvited guests that were disrupting prayers and daily life. The high lightning at the two holy mosques, along with high temperatures and humidity, were all attractive factors leading to this massive number of locusts for neighboring areas towards the two holy mosques. The local authorities deployed 22 teams consisting of 138 people and 111 pieces of equipment to clean up and combat the infestation. So what should we do to cope with and mitigate the impacts of climate change as well as the risks from natural disasters? This includes reducing greenhouse gas emissions by using energy more efficiently and transitioning to renewable energy sources. Protecting and restoring natural ecosystems such as forests and wetlands is also a crucial element. 
Alongside this, we need to raise community awareness and promote environmental protection policies, as well as build sustainable infrastructure to face the challenges of extreme weather. Ultimately, it comes down to each of us individually. Everyone needs to take responsibility for sustainable consumption and reducing resource waste. A simple example is turning off the light switch when you're not using it. A series of natural disasters like floods, wildfires, storms and heat waves are ravaging the United States. With warnings of disaster growing more frequent and reaching new levels of severity. In 2023, major flooding natural disasters across America have forced the relocation of thousands of households, wiped out buildings and claimed hundreds of lives. Recent flooding in New York highlights the severity of heavy rainfall and the importance of infrastructure. New geological research warns that the weight of the skyscrapers in New York City is actually causing the city to sink into the surrounding waters. New York City, home to over 1 million buildings, is sinking at a rate of 1 to 2 millimeters per year, with some areas sinking much faster. Holy... This bridge is going to collapse. Holy... I missed it by a half second. Oh my... Oh my gosh! Before urbanization, New York City used to be crisscrossed with rivers, streams, creeks and canals that were simply filled with dirt, paved and built over. Now, after over a century and a half later, it seems that those bodies of water and waterways are beginning to re-emerge as the infrastructure that has obscured them for decades is now weakened due to wear and tear and lack of maintenance and renewal as the population grows and grows. The city is old and worn and has been showing signs of its age for quite some time now. Wow. Bro, I just watched my car just swim away. Yo! In the video, a blue car belonging to a man was swept away by the floodwaters, even crashing into a bulldozer. Fortunately, the car was not carried too far downstream after that, but it did sustain quite heavy damage from the impacts. While Cumberland and Dauphin were said to have received a few inches of rainfall, Berks County endured about 10 inches of rain. <laughs> Not only in New York, but some areas saw extreme rainfall exceeding 200 millimeters. Successive heavy downpours in many areas of the Northeast United States, including New Jersey and Vermont. This extreme weather has washed away many bridges and caused widespread flooding of roads, bringing transportation to a standstill. In Vermont, over 100 people have been rescued. Authorities are trying to evacuate more cases by helicopter. Heavy flooding has inundated the city centre of Montpellier, home to about 8,000 people. 
Rescue forces had to use boats to evacuate dozens of people trapped in flooded homes. In the Canadian province of Quebec, over 600 people have been evacuated from their homes following torrential rains. Local authorities reported that in just 48 hours, nearly 140 millimeters of rain fell on Montmorency Forest near Quebec City, causing river levels to rise rapidly. Flooding occurs because of heavy rainfall happening upstream. Flash floods can arise within hours, sometimes even minutes, of a storm. Large amounts of water fall rapidly and can flow downhill into rivers or streams, causing rivers to swell and overflow banks. As a result, floodwaters move swiftly and in populated areas can catch residents unaware, trapping people in homes or other buildings. Bridges, roads, cars and much infrastructure can also easily be swept away and destroyed. Large debris like trees can also be caught in the flows, creating additional hazards as this is the genesis of the natural disaster. In urban environments, fast-moving water can overwhelm infrastructure because we have a large urban footprint across cities like Las Vegas that simply cannot handle the incoming rainfall in storm drainage systems. The land there has been covered in concrete and asphalt and so essentially water turns into runoff instantly any time water precipitates, it also moves very rapidly. Areas in the U.S. that have wildfires, parched vegetation are also more likely to witness flash flooding on land that doesn't allow percolation as much as they usually would, which means there has been less absorption from the vegetation and that can cause major issues with severe erosion, flash flooding, and they can even cause debris flows and ultimately natural disasters. The Philippines, an archipelago of over 7,000 islands, has two seasons. A dry season from December to May and a rainy season from June to November. Storms frequently strike. Flooding this month has heightened concerns that climate change is causing more extreme weather, making such events more common. Hey, 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 hey. On July 3rd, the Philippine government said number of people who lost their lives due to last week's flooding in the country has risen to 51, with over 33,000 evacuees still sheltering in temporary facilities. <laughs> Caer, se lleva el puente, Dios mío, lo que... 
The early January days were brutal, with heavy rains prompting one town or city after another to issue emergency alerts, order evacuations or mount relief efforts. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council said on Monday that at least 28 people had perished this month. Over 211,000 people had to flee among 1.3 million affected as the rains destroyed homes, infrastructure, crops and fishing boats. Although January typically has less rainfall, the heavy rains this month have severely affected the whole country, especially the southern provinces. Due to its geographical location on the Pacific Ring of Fire and Typhoon Belt, the Philippines is one of the most vulnerable countries to the impacts of climate change. On average, the country endures 20 storms per year, including powerful typhoons with enormous destructive force. Scientists warn that storms are becoming more intense as the earth warms up. Flash floods in India claiming the lives of at least 14 individuals with 102 still missing. This number is anticipated to rise. Flooding in Skikkum started around 1.30 a.m. on October 4th and has been intensifying due to the release of the water from the Shunthang Dam. Video footage from the northern part of the state shows rapid mudslides overflowing rivers, submerging homes in mud and debris. <laughs> Heavy rain in the Lonak Lake region caused the water levels of the upstream Chungthang Dam to rise, forcing the authorities to release water downstream. This action led to the flooding and flash flood in the downstream areas of the Tista River near the borders of India with Nepal and China. On October 5th, Indian authorities reported the flash floods in the state Sikkim in the country's northeast have claimed the lives of at least 14 people. Additionally, 102 individuals, including 22 soldiers, are missing and 22,000 are affected. Hello. Hello. According to local officials, approximately 3,000 tourists from other regions are believed to be stranded in various parts of Sikkim. Meanwhile, the road infrastructure has suffered severe damages from the floods with 14 bridges collapsing as a result. A vehicle was swept away and lies beneath a tree in the town of Rangpo in Sikkim, India. Search and rescue efforts are facing challenges due to heavy rain, flooding and swift river currents. The Sikkim government stated that in the city of Pakyang, seven individuals lost their lives in the floods and 59 are missing. Among those missing are dozens of members of the Indian Army. The 
The military revealed that a large-scale search and rescue operation to find the missing soldiers was launched, but efforts have been hampered due to the continuous rain and floods cutting off roads and washing away bridges. According to the military, by Wednesday evening, one soldier had been rescued and is in stable condition, but 22 others remain missing. The government reported that at least 11 bridges have collapsed in the floods, hindering rescue efforts and isolating remote areas. In the state capital and the largest city of Gangtok, three deaths have been reported and 22 people are missing. Over 2,000 people have been evacuated and relief camps have been set up throughout the state to assist more than 22,000 individuals affected by the flash floods. Meanwhile, the Meteorological Department has warned of continuous heavy rainfall in Sikkim and neighbouring states for the next two days posing risks of landslides and disruptions to aviation activities. The Sikkim Education Department announced that schools in the districts of Mangan, Gangtok, Pakyong and Namchi will remain closed until October 8th due to the impact of the natural disaster. Just two months ago, the world was stunned by the harrowing floods and landslides that struck India. Amishal Pradesh was the most adversely affected state with at least 330 fatalities, 38 individuals missing and over 100 injured as a result of the floods since April 1st. In this state, over 1,000 roads have been obstructed due to broken power lines and other infrastructural damages. Prolonged heavy rainfall overnight rocked havoc throughout Hemishel, resulting in the closure of at least 400 roads. The rainfall was particularly severe in this hilly state, which has borne the brunt of a brutal monsoon season this year, leading to frequent floods and landslides. Flash floods often occur during the monsoon season, which typically spans from June to the end of September in India. By October, heavy rainfalls are usually absent in the country. However, experts suggest that climate change is increasing the frequency and severity of the rains during the monsoon season in this nation. <laughs> Alongside the heavy rain causing floods, the melting of glaciers is also contributing to a significant volume of water, while unplanned construction in flood-prone areas intensifies the damages from natural disasters. The glaciers in the Himalayas are melting faster than ever due to global warming posing unpredictable disasters for residing communities. Uh -oh. 
This past June, the International Centre for Integrated Mountain Development released a report indicating that from 2011 to 2020, the rate of glacier retreat accelerated by over 65% compared to the previous decade. Typhoon Koinyu began sweeping through the southernmost rural areas of Taiwan on Thursday, drenching the region in torrential rain and bringing record-breaking wind speeds of up to over 340 kilometers per hour to the remote island. Meteorological Agency told AFP that the peak gust of 92.5 meters per second recorded on Orchard Island last night set a new record for Taiwan. Terrifying floods and unexpected landslides struck, causing high-rise buildings to collapse and painting a horrific scene in the heart of the nation. <laughs> Streets transformed into raging rivers and many skyscrapers swayed under the force of the natural disaster. It seemed like the end of the world as many parts of India have faced and are still enduring grim moments. In addition to property damages amounting to billions of US dollars, the death toll is also rapidly rising. A swift and ferocious flash flood is looming, threatening to engulf numerous verdant fields. Footage captures the moment fields of vegetables vanish under the rushing waters, carrying away hopes and hard work for many farmers. In the pristine landscape of nature, powerful waves crashed continuously against the seawall in North Wildwood, New Jersey. <laughs> Beyond the raw beauty of nature, both residents and tourists had to grapple with the forceful currents. Most clung tightly to the railings, trying to maintain their balance as the powerful water surged over them. As the climate changes and glaciers melt, a little known threat lurks in the high mountains, flooding in glacial lakes. These events happen rapidly, releasing huge amounts of water with little or no warning. Unusually record high temperatures in Pakistan have melted glaciers in the Himalayas, rising water levels causing flooding in northern Pakistan. Heavy rains and flash floods have damaged many houses, roads and belongings of the people of this country. The 2022 floods have damaged most water systems in the affected areas, forcing more than 5.4 million people, including 2.5 million children, to rely solely on polluted water from ponds and lakes. Chongqing, one of China's most developed cities and home to more than 30 million people, located at the confluence of three rivers, it was once a transportation hub between North and South China. And this is also the place that suffered the worst flood in China in the past 10 years. 
Heavy rains since July 3rd are believed to have caused much disturbance in central and northern regions of China. July 4th in Chongqing City, heavy rain disrupted the Sibiu rail line on Tuesday. Flooding also inundated some houses in urban area, forcing many people to leave their homes. A 400-year-old bridge was swept away by flash floods due to the rainstorms in Changchacha City, Hunan Province, central China. Disaster in Michigan, USA. Unusual spring rains heralded impending disaster pouring into lakes until the century-old Edenville Dam couldn't stand it any longer. When the dam broke, streams flooded in, damaging a second dam, the Sanford, and forcing 11,000 residents to flee the Midland area. There it goes. The water tore through buildings, broke roads and bridges, damaged or destroyed some 2,500 properties, and caused pollution concerns as it swept through chemical plants and hazardous waste sites. It also submerged downtown Midland, a city of 40,000 people under nearly 3 meters of water. The disaster on May 19th and 20th, 2020, caused at least $175 million in damage and left two empty lake beds. A known incident? They have long warned that climate change and increased runoff from the population growth are putting greater pressure on poorly maintained dams. What happened in Michigan, they say, could happen to many other aging dams across the United States or the world. Massive floods swept through the Turkish capital Ankara. Some tunnels were flooded, and traffic disruptions occurred on many roads and avenues. In the Alton Dog District, windstorms also broke building windows and damaged mosques. Recently, on June 3, 2023, Ankara was subjected to heavy rain causing extensive property damage. Flood water flooded this apartment building and then submerged a nearby road. People are asked to be careful about the negative effects of heavy rains and floods. Intense rainstorms that inundated the northeast turned streets into rivers, forced evacuations and prompted officials in Vermont's capital Montpellier to close the downtown area. Floodwaters in some areas surpassed the levels seen during Tropical Storm Irene, the governor said. Irene hit the United States as a hurricane in August 2011 and left the entire communities submerged, claimed the lives of more than 40 people in several eastern states. Some videos recorded directly by people show the terrible devastation of the storm. The truck was swept away by floodwaters while crossing a bridge. The Ball Mountain Dam and the Townsend Dam in southwestern Vermont were expected to overflow their spillways, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers warned on Monday night. Vermont remains under a state of emergency with water in downtown Montpelier running from knee to waist deep on Tuesday, stranding residents in their homes and shutting down roads and businesses. Typhoon Mangkot, known in the Philippines as Typhoon Mangpong, The strongest typhoon to make landfall in the Philippines since Typhoon Haiyan in November 2013. In addition, Mangkot is also the strongest typhoon to make landfall in Hong Kong since Typhoon Ellen in 1983. Philippine officials on September 17th confirmed that Super Typhoon Mangkot has claimed the lives of 65 people on the island of Luzon. Meanwhile, the police said 43 people are still missing after the storm made landfall, causing landslides in northern Luzon Island including Benquet province. The storm destroyed at least 2,800 homes and 155,000 people were evacuated to shelters. Hey, 
According to Hong Kong's RTHK Media, Typhoon Mangkut made landfall in this territory at 5 p.m. local time on September 16, 2018. The local government has arranged nearly 50 temporary shelters and more than 1,200 people are sheltering here. Typhoon Mangkok broke windows, shook tall buildings, uprooted many trees and flooded many roads. At least 889 flights to and from Hong Kong were cancelled yesterday due to adverse weather conditions, leaving tens of thousands of passengers stranded at Hong Kong's International Airport. Take a look at this photo. The image of 325 km an hour is the strongest wind that Patricia has achieved. According to the U.S. National Hurricane Center, Patricia is the most powerful storm ever recorded in the history of the Western Hemisphere. This storm made landfall in the Mexican states on the evening of October 23, 2015 and caused widespread flooding across Central America. The strength of the North Carolina tornado caught on camera. The passing tornado blew off the roof of the house in about 30 seconds. Beachgoers on Clearwater Beach in Florida tried to escape a tornado that washed ashore. Some people suffered minor injuries from flying debris. Oh my God. Sixty-three hundred people died. One point one million houses were severely damaged or completely destroyed and 4.1 million people became homeless. About 600,000 hectares of farmland were affected. It is now basically a waterfall. And then a torrent of black water trapped in their room smashed the window and screamed for help. The total cost of damage is about 14 billion US dollars, which is what Super Typhoon Haiyan left behind for most people around eastern and western Visis in Philippines. Super Typhoon Haiyan, the strongest storm in history, heavily devastated the central Philippines on November 8th. Death, devastation, hunger, and tears are what the hurricane leaves behind. The Philippines is located on the Pacific Ring of Fire and close to the equator, where warm air and ocean temperatures frequently rise above 28 degrees C, which accelerates the evaporation of water, allowing for faster accumulation of precipitation. This, combined with climate change, increases the frequency of storms, making this country suffer from the world's historic storms such as Typhoon Thelma, Typhoon Bopa, and Typhoon Haya. Almost everyone living in the Philippines has experienced at least one tropical storm. If you could choose a place to be born, would you dare to challenge yourself to fight the storms with the Filipino people?
Huge wave shatters ferry window as storm Yalenda batters Germany. Footage from inside a house while being ravaged by an EF4 tornado. Maximum wind speed was 324 kilometers per hour, June 24th, 2023 in the Czech Republic. Image captured by people's cameras of Typhoon Noru hitting Da Nang, Vietnam, September 27, 2022. Less than 36 hours after it left a trail of destruction in the Philippines, where it was known as carting, the typhoon weakened a little prior to making landfall but was still equivalent to a high-end Category 2 hurricane with winds near 175 km per hour or about 109 miles per hour. Australia is a country in Oceania, a continent twice the size of Europe with a population of 25 million people. Eastern Australia is a picturesque place nestled in the hills. If you want to know more about this country, comment down below. And now I'm talking about the floods in Australia. Heavy rain has accelerated the growth of small creeks to an alarming rate. Floodwaters began to overflow the road and destroy everything as it passed. A man risked his life running to get his car away before it swept away by the floods. See if he can take his, this is that type of air out. Oh, lucky. He his car. Just. There are not many brave people like him, and the rest are watching cars carried away by the water. Whoa. By the time the water reached the downstream area, cars were also discovered here, but they were probably not as usable as before. Flooding a car is something every owner refuses to do. The culprit causes the natural disasters is the La Nina phenomena. Under normal conditions, cold water from the east coast of the South Pacific Ocean near Chile pushes warm water westward. This warm water evaporates, adding energy to cloud formation and unusual tropical storms. This is the geographical location of the country of Turkey. Castamonu is a lovely city hidden in amongst the forests of Anatolia. The beauty of the 12th century Byzantine castle at the foot of the hill greets you. No matter how beautiful or strong you are, the lying in the territory of the earth you cannot avoid the floods. District. On June 27, 2022, heavy rain caused flooding in the Inabolu district of Castamonu. The heavy rainfall caused the amount of water in the Inabolu spring to begin to overflow, creating waves in the city center and destroying two bridges for pedestrians and vehicles. Abi gitme, abi gitme, araba gitme. Houses and workplaces on the ground floor of buildings were flooded and power outages took place in the district. People are warned to move up to areas higher than the ground floor and shops near the river asked to close at this time. Starting with Hurricane Fiona making landfall in Puerto Rico, causing flash flooding and severe flooding here on the evening of September 18th, 2016. Local officials said several landslides had occurred. See if he can take his, this is that type air out. Many roads were blocked and the bridge in the town of Utuado in central Puerto Rico was swept away by floodwaters. Ports in Puerto Rico were closed and flights departing from the island's main airport were also cancelled. Power company Luma Energy, which operates the power grid on the island of Puerto Rico, said the entire island of 3.3 million people were without power for the afternoon of September 18th. By the evening, 
Some areas were back on power, but restoring power supply across the island will take several days. The Toyota Etios was following the bus across the flooded causeway. The video, taken by a local man from Antipur district, can be seen trying to cross the muddy road behind a bus but failing miserably when it was swept away by the strong current. Locals rescued the duo from shallow water about 100 meters away. Torrential rain had been reported in the area for two days prior to the incident, resulting in streams of water flooding the causeway. When Mother Nature rebelled, it was the time when humans had to cope with heavy disasters and typically here was the flood. Many places in India are facing a state of emergency due to floods and landslides. Rain hit hundreds of villages washing away homes and trapping residents while rescue teams race to evacuate survivors. Thousands of homes and vehicles swam with floodwaters causing billions of dollars in damage to the country. Mother Nature's raft, Himachal Pradesh floods captured with cameras. Tell me where they got the courage to cross the bridge with that water in very leisurely steps while below is a raging wave that can destroy the bridge. On August 4th, 2016, major hurricanes formed and stopped at the Grand Staircase. Many major drainage systems were severely flooded. The video was shot at Buckskin, Washington, which flows into the Buckskin Gulch. Two large hordes combined to form a monster. Massive flooding has occurred in eastern Kentucky. More than six inches of rain fell overnight, leaving the streets submerged in water. Meteorologists say rain is expected next week, which could lead to more flooding. Governor Andy Beshear said more than 25,000 homes and businesses were without power. The number of people and property damaged is still being updated. Please leave your discussion comments below the video comments section. Thank you very much for your keen interest, follow up and enthusiastic support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. For now, we say goodbye and look forward to seeing you in our next videos. Wishing everyone a warm day with your family.